Hi, I'm Connor with Burris Optics, and today we're gonna to learn how to record using the new thermal that you've purchased, version three from Burris Optics. So first, we're gonna launch our Burris Connect app and just head right into it. Let's talk about the rifle scope and clip-on because the process for actually recording through them is the exact same. You have to use the Burris Connect app. If you wanna learn how to connect your rifle scope and clip-on to the Burris Connect app, we have a different video for that. We'll leave a link in the corner as well as in the description so you can check that out. Once you're connected to the app, you wanna go into the stream option. At the bottom, you're gonna see photo and video. So you'll be able to say whether you're taking a photo or whether you're recording a video, and then next to it will be the record button or the capture button. This saves to the actual mobile device, not the optic. And so if you plug your optic into the computer later, you will not be able to get that information off. It is on your device. The handheld, however, is a little bit different. It uses a record button on top of the optic. If you hit it briefly, it will take a picture. If you hold it for more than half a second, it's going to start recording. Then you have to hold it for more than half a second again in order to have it stop recording. This does save to the device, so you can connect this to a computer and pull that information off later. You can also use the Burris Connect app to connect to your handheld and do the same commands. You can tell it to record, you can tell it to take a photo, and you can also see what is on the handheld already. As you can see, it shows the same settings as the other optics, but it also has a media tab for the files that are on the device. If you click under the media tab, it says on device, and so it'll be everything that is actually on this handheld. You can download it directly to your device, or if you wanna connect it via USB-C cable to your computer, make sure that that cable has data transfer abilities. The braided cable that you received with your optic will work for this. And that's how you record with your new Burris Thermal Optic. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about your specific optic, come check us out at BurrisOptics.com or check out any of the videos that we have linked in the description.